Hi! <laughs> Hi, fans! Hello! I'm a huge fan of this franchise. I am yeah. too. So, I know that you came in at the third installment, right? Yes, I did. I play Amanda Perlman. Uh, Adam Green wrote a remarkable part for me. I had the opportunity to play comedy op opposite Sid Haig in one of my scenes. Uh, that's, the, that's a bucket list thing. That's the kind of thing you really want on your resume and on your reel. What was it like coming into an established franchise that's already, you know, the family's already there? Well, it was a very secure environment because Adam ups the ante with every single project that he does. Uh, he's a remarkable writer, a remarkable storyteller. I knew I was landing in exactly the right film at exactly the right time. And uh, we had the time of our lives on the film despite the challenges with the weather and it rained and bug bites and alligators and everything else. Uh, we really had a terrific time, and it's a great movie. How do you kill Victor Crowley? He just keeps coming back. You cannot kill Victor frickin' Crowley. You can't do it. And I tried. I tried to kill him. I, I wanted to kill him. I made an attempt to kill him, and he pulled my head off. I just like... I. <laughs> that's how it lands. But that's the strength of this franchise, right? Yes, it is. And the fan base for it, they're Hatchet Army. The fan base for this movie is so extraordinary. Uh, they always have a hunger to see these films. Seeing, seeing Hatchet tonight on a really big screen is going to be such an event uh, for the fans because we've all seen it, some of us in smaller cinemas, but to see it in the big room at the Arclight, that's going to be a moment. I'm really looking forward to it. And you were part of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise as well. Well, ironically, today, 31 years ago, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 made it into movie theaters. So it's a wonderful confluence of events. It's a wonderful good luck thing, I suppose. So here's a fun question before you enjoy the night. Leatherface versus Victor Crowley. Who will win? <laughs> They both have chainsaws. It's a draw. <laughs> it's a draw. It is. What up? This is Ramaskin, the Hatchet 10th Anniversary Red Carpet with Mercedes. How you doing? Hello. How are you? I'm well. Good. I'm a huge fan of this franchise. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I remember watching the first movie. It was so scary. What were your thoughts coming into this project? Were you a fan of this genre? Absolutely. I loved horror films. Um, my dad and I always used to watch horror films and see who had the best death. So that was the... Uh, the, the thing I wanted the most was to have such a good death, which I think I achieved. Well, let me ask you this, because we didn't get to actually see your character get killed. I know. I did a couple movies after that where I got really good death scenes, so okay. I made up for it. <laughs> so, so and, and imaginary-wise, what do you think that happened there? How did he rip your character's head off? How did You know, I try not to think too much about that. I try not to let that keep me up at night. Yeah. <laughs> have you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is it about this franchise? What is it about Adam Green that makes it last this long? His enthusiasm, more than anything, I think. His passion and his enthusiasm and his creativity and, and great writing, directing, yeah. And uh, you've done a lot of horrors afterwards too, right? Yeah, I did a couple horror films after and sci-fi and whatnot. And then um, from this movie, I made Friends for Life, which is also really unique and awesome. I can't let you go without asking about Buffy and Angel. <laughs> So, the, what's that now? 15th or 20th anniversary, I believe? 20th. 20th. Yeah. Man, how did that feel to be part of that beloved franchise? Uh, it's such a compliment that people still are just new fans all the time, new audiences. It just stand, shows that it stand, show, stands the test of time, which is really nice. You miss it? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. But it was uh, great while it lasted. Okay, here's a fun question. If they ever rebooted Buffy, would you be okay with that? Uh, sure. I don't know if the fans would handle it, but I would be happy to do it. Yeah.